G'day and welcome to Let's Try Caster. So this is the first Let's Try game where I've literally had to find the settings file in order to get the game to launch. That's a great sign. Uh, because uh, apparently it defaulted to... Well, the defaults just didn't work. Right? Um, the ini file had a resolution of 0, 0, which uh, was, was not right. All right, let's see how this... What this is, really. Um... A lot of people saying, I really want to see a part two, but also Steam says that the uh, rating was quite bad. Let's go with a little girl, why not? Uh, let's go with Raniko, and then let's see what we do. We will do normal, because if you're going to give me an option, I'll generally start with normal, under the assumption that this is how this is going to work. The midden region it is. Um... Select a mission. There we go. First run. Commander's log. The Midden region has become completely overrun by the flanks infestation. Okay. The caster clan has finally responded to my request for help by sending over a new rookie caster named Raniko. I have appointed Anna to be Raniko's mission director. She knows the area well and should be able to find the best mission deployment locations. I imagine the experienced casters are hard come that experienced casters are hard to come by nowadays, however. I fear our situation is far more than this young caster will be able to handle. I do like that music. Hello Raniko, my name's Anna, and I'm your mission director. And this first mission is just a routine training exercise. Use WASD or the arrow keys to move around. Okay. Touch the red markers to learn more about the controls. WASD it is. Okay, that crosshair is always in the center of the screen. That's kind of... feels kind of weird. Yep. We can move around with the mouse. Shift will make us run. You can pause the game by pressing escape. You can jump by pressing space bar. Great. Radar is in the bottom right corner. Use the radar to find enemies and other points of interest. That zoom on, on that asset not look good uh, these orbs will give you new kinds of attacks hold down the left mouse button to attack enemies ok try attacking the four white targets around you oh ok so that uh, you definitely need to lead the targets a little no you, no you don't the opposite you definitely want to make sure you're not leading the targets it will go exactly where the crosshair is showing. And then... In fact, it won't go exactly... So you do need to lead it? Or not lead it? Okay. And if you press and hold jump... Okay, jump... Okay, super jump. Sure. Switch between attacks. Use right mouse. Okay, right. It looks like we don't actually have another attack right now, so... Double tap and the direction key... Okay. Oh, you know. You can use shift. Good work. Ready for your first field mission. Hooray. We can upgrade things. Let's upgrade... Um... Our... Dash and our pickup distance. It's a deal. All right, wet wasteland. So that's, yeah. I do feel like this game is cashing checks in some places that its art uh, just can't really match. The station's defenses are running low on power, so you need to collect energy deposits and, you know, shoot things. Just the, the crosshair is really weird. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, now I'm in this situation. How do games normally handle this? I've played enough games that I should be able to describe to you exactly what happens, but I can't. But all I know is this crosshair is big and it just doesn't seem very well related to how everything runs. So if I were to shoot you in the face, so shooting you in the face makes you turn around. Okay, eventually shooting you in the back makes you die.
Gotcha. Okay. Honestly, I can't tell if I, I'm doing any good hitting that. And there we go. So then I can... I mean... I get this is the first run. And this is actually a milk run. But it doesn't seem that thrilling thus far. Can see why maybe it got a low score. It's not got a strong opening. You're a weird fish, you know that? Mate, maybe don't beat yourself? Okay, that actually felt threatening. Uh, game, game, don't do that. If you could just blow up, that'd be grand. Like, I mean, I guess there's meant to be something other than... Like, I'm meant to feel some sort of threat here. That fish was vaguely threatening because I fell into the water. But right now I'm just feeling like a bit of a bully. Like, I'm sure that if I were to go and... Uh, kill the enemies that would also be rewarded because this is a newer game but it just what seriously I guess it's yeah that that's the kind of thing where it's like if this were a 3d object that would that work but that feels like it's pointing up maybe if it actually then started pointing down I don't know but there's definitely ways of representing that that is different and better than what we got and yeah so that would have been something for killing enemies but really I just don't care so we will get this we will get this we will get a uh, bit more of this bit more of super jump and then we're done all right I think we'll do we'll give it one more mission hoping we get something more interesting. Like, that music is nice and jazzy. Right, if there's a large flanks near the end of this channel, to destroy this flanks to complete the mission. Also, it looks like there's a toxic cloud above you, so stay in the canyon. Alright, so we've just got a better stamina bar. Okay. Uh, is there a way to dive? Nope. Okay, so I just guess I can't get that thing. Yeah, right. So this just lets me run faster. Hello. Now this actually feels slightly threatening, if it weren't for the fact that a single hit t sends him spinning the other way. Okay, and then we just collect all the things. What does that do? This attack is also a defense. Press and hold the attack button to create an energy shield. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, I like it. Actually, that's a pretty cool attack. And now we get attacked. Uh, maybe I was meant to run into that ball before in the testing? Oh, hi there. Whoa, you seem to have uh, clipped into the ground there, buddy. It'd be an awful shame if something were to happen to you.
You are a really weird crab monster thingamajigs. I do like having this funky shield cloud though. That's pretty cool. As is the idea that you need to uh, kind of give up defense to attack. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, these enemies still seem rather decorative, although having them pop up underneath you is another tactic, I guess. Okay, come on. Ah! Oh, hi there. You're new. Rude. Oi, 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 oi. Not cool, not cool, not cool. I don't think you can get in the no damage bonus, but that's fine. Uh, I wonder if the enemy generates them, because if they do, then... Wait, really? Do, can the enemy, can the enemy, the trees be killed? And we've already got these enemies which can just crawl up anything. Come on, I mean this isn't a particularly thrilling boss fight right now, I have to admit. Okay, we got it, and we done. Alright. Great work, Renico! Uh, go, yep, sure, we killed all the enemies, we didn't get the no damage bonus. Uh, we did get this, and now we can, like... Boost defensive orbitals that can attack, and we can boost our super jump. Okay. Yeah, so right now, I just... I don't care. Uh, I'm sorry, the gameplay is not compelling enough for me to really want to keep doing this. Uh, it, the enemies... some The enemies are getting tougher. I'll give it that. Um, and, you know, they hit us. But it, they're just not particularly interesting to fight. We're still basically orbiting and attacking. And now we're using a weapon that also provides a, cer a certain amount of defense. So, um, yeah. I think I'm out. I can I think I can gladly just drop this from the list. It'll be interesting to find out where and when I got it. Until next time, have a good one.